So how did life on Earth all begin? Um, according to uh, the early Earth video, life on Earth only appeared about one billion years ago, compared to the formation of Earth, which occurred about five billion years ago. Even so, um, were the first organisms heterotrophs or autotrophs? Were they virus-like or bacteria-like? And how did they form their cell organelles and their structures? So according to scientists, there were four main stages of early Earth that made life possible. These are abiotic synthesis of small organic molecules, the synthesis of polymers from these monomers, the formation of probions, protobionts, and the beginnings of self-replicating molecules. Well, let's take a look at the first major stage of early Earth that made life possible. This was called abiotic synthesis of small organic molecules, meaning there were non-living factors in place that helped small organic molecules form. If you could remember the early conditions of atmosphere on the planet Earth, um, uh, the conditions were extremely uh, harsh. There was a great deal of lightning, UV radiation, different gaseous elements were available, such as um, hydrogen, methane, um, <coughs> water, and ammonia. These molecules uh, were available in the atmosphere and then potentially due to uh, these these conditions uh, these molecules sort of recombined their elements to form the early organic molecules we still know of today nucleic acids amino acids um, glucose you know amino acids. I'm just making them different shapes. Um, and perhaps, um, you know, these non-living uh, factors um, put, made, these, made these molecules form, just a recombination, like I said, of the basic elements. The idea that inorganic molecules could recombine under the right conditions, forming organic molecules, is sometimes referred to as the primordial soup hypothesis. So let's put that down. Sort of sounds primordial like early earth and a soup sort of like they were, you know, gathered together in really hot conditions and mixed together. So that's the prim primordial soup hypothesis. The next question is, you know, how do we know um, that there isn't another theory. You know, we think that today, many scientists think that these small organic molecules, you know, developed and became more complex in terms of polymers. Um, that they, they um, then these polymers formed um, early genetic material like RNA and ultimately DNA. Um, and that ultimately early early cells, protobionts, um, that contain these molecules formed with a, with a membrane um, surrounding it. Um, there are many, or there were many exper experiments, and I guess they continue today, um, that have been carried out to mimic the early conditions on Earth to help us determine how amino acids and sugars and nucleotides came about. Many of these experiments, including um, two gentlemen, Miller and Yuri, proved that these elements could combine, okay, these elements back here could combine into amino acids, sugars, and nucleotides, given the right conditions. Other scientists hypothesize that these organic molecules originated in perhaps organic, uh, sorry, volcanic vents of the deep sea or that meteorites brought the first organic molecules to Earth. So in summary, it's important to remember that the early conditions on Earth were such that there were inorganic molecules and that perhaps the climate um, provided the right conditions to I exchange these elements in these or inorganic molecules to make organic 
molecules.